Étudiant d'échange en cinéma, je débarque à Montréal en décembre 2013. Très vite, je tombe amoureux de cette ville aux charmes infinies. Sa multiculturalité, son ouverture d'esprit, sa nightlife, et puis ses magnifiques demoiselles. Mais derrière, je découvre aussi la face cachée, moins rose de la grande île. La corruption et la pauvreté ont fait chez lui une plaque tournante de la drogue. La mafia italienne semble retenir Montréal de sa main de fer. Fasciné depuis ma plus tendre enfance par les gangsters, je décide d'en faire le sujet de mon court-métrage de fin d'année. Je parle alors de mon projet à mes amis et très vite un nom semble ressortir du lot. Jimmy Boy, nom qui lui aurait été donné pour sa gang de gangsters. Je rencontre dans un bar alors qu'il donne un concert. C'est ce qu'il faut. Un homme qui semble partager ma fascination et une possible porte d'entrée vers la mafia montréalaise. Pour des raisons de sécurité, les noms des personnages et les utilisés pour cette enquête ont été modifiés. Ce qui suit est le résultat d'une rencontre qui changera ma vie à tout jamais. Là, on est dans, dans le quartier où j'ai grandi. Okay, alors, euh, ça, c'est Saint-Léonard. Et puis, euh, euh, là, on est dans le beau quartier de Saint-Léonard. Il ouais. euh, y a des, des, des places un petit peu plus pauvres, là, mais ici, j'ai grandi ici, c'est bien italien. Bien italien, euh, beaucoup de Siciliens. Ah, j'ai cru comprendre, c'était là où il y avait la mafia ici. Ouais. Enfin, où ils habitaient, en tout cas, beaucoup d'eux. Ouais, ouais, il y a pas mal de mafia ici. Euh, faut que tu sois italien pour rentrer dans ça, là, tu sais. Ouais, ouais. Ouais, c'est très rare qu'ils vont faire rentrer quelqu'un d'autre, là, tu sais. Faut, faut que tu fasses tes preuves. Look at this asshole, he just comes right in front, hein. Boom, like that. That's it, king of the world. I got his license plate. <laughs> I track him down, let's follow him to his place, hein. <laughs> Baseball bat to the knees, maybe he'll think about, think twice about cutting somebody, hein. So do you know any of the people from the Mafia? You know, the Rizzuto family? Yeah, 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 I know almost all of them, yeah. And like, isn't it weird? Like, I don't know, just What's hanging out. What's weird about what? I don't know, nothing. That was a stupid question. What do you mean they're weird? I don't know, man, they go around killing people and I don't know, hanging out with these people is kind of... Who, uh, who said they killed everybody? Anybody? Wow. You saying they killed somebody? Uh, no, no, I'm, I don't know. I, don't ah, know. Shit, I, I thought I'm just was... fucking with you. <laughs> well. Hey, well, what do you do for a living then? Yeah, you know, I, I get by. You know, I, I got my, I got my connections. I get my, I get my things done. Yeah, in an office. Oh man, I would love to see the day that happens. Oh shit. I got an idea. Oh, I'm gonna right. bring it to the store, okay. and uh, you uh, don't don't bring the camera in. I'll give you my cell phone if you want to film something. But uh, I got a little surprise for you. Okay, something I like to do at least oh. at least two or three times a week. Uh, yeah, sometimes I don't have time, but I try to make a routine out of it. You know. This is called the art of shoplifting. Okay, basically the only rule. You only steal from big corporate fucks. Now there's two techniques, okay? If you don't want to get caught. You can either like carry a backpack and you don't put anything inside you. You leave it empty the whole time. And that way when you uh, go to the cashier, you can show it and she'll leave you alone, you know? No problem. I know the other technique. I'll show it, I'll show it. Watch this. Hey, excuse me. 
Vous auriez ça, une affaire comme c'est du ketchup bleu? Euh, ça non, hein? Non. Ah. You have to ask the most random thing possible to anybody. Anybody that's working, you know? You have to make sure that they don't have it. That's the most important thing. That way, when you leave empty-handed, they'll think that you didn't find what you were looking for. And you always have to be friendly, you know? Always smile and, and be polite. You know, you should always have money. Always keep a lot of money so it doesn't look like you, you had to steal. You know, like display units are like a shoplifter's best friend. You know, they allow you to see what's going on while you're like hiding. And you're doing, you know, you do what you have to do, you know? You don't have to worry about the cameras. You can be discreet. You can be quick. You know, that's where you can be quick. You know, I always wear a large clothes. You know, suspenders are always very useful. Check it out. That's for you, buddy. Oh. $60 bottle. Thanks, man. Amazing. Yeah, I hope you like it. When when did you start doing this? Shoplifting? Shoplifting, you know, I started back in the day, like around 10 or 12, you know. Uh, my parents never had that much money, so I had to find ways to, to make my money, you know. And so I actually started with, uh, you know, expensive... Um, perfume bottles I'd go in the store and I'd steal them you know and then I'd go back you know a couple of days later and I'd ask for a refund <laughs> that's pretty fucking smart yeah. man yeah